Hi friends, this is session 12. This session includes sketch tools, visualization tools and 2D analysis tools. First we see sketch tools, snap to point. Snap to point is available in sketch tools toolbar. As you are sketching, the points are snapped to the intersection points of the grid. To display the grid, enable grid in visualization toolbar. The grid is enabled here. Default grid spacing is 10 mm. Primary spacing is 100 mm and it divided in 10 graduations. To modify the spacing and graduations, go to Options dialog box. Select the mechanical design, then choose Sketch a subcategory. Enable Snap to Point, then change the parameter as your needs. Here graduations are changed. Next option is Adaptive Grid. Adaptive Grid defines, if you zoom in or out of your drawing, the grid spacing is adjusted automatically. If you disable adaptive grid, grid spacing and graduations are same in all the zoom levels. Next option is allow distortion. Here you can change different horizontal and vertical grid spacings and graduations. Next tool is construction or standard element. When this option is enabled, sketching elements are converted to construction elements. You can also convert construction element to standard element also. In this example, I convert circle element into construction line element. And I draw infinite line as construction line element. Next tool is Geometrical Constraints. Select the tool. Now draw element, Geometrical Constraints are automatically applied here. Disable this tool, Geometrical Constraints are not created. Next one is Dimensional Constraints, enable this tool. Now draw elements and specify dimension value. 
Dimensional constraints are automatically applied here. Next tool is automatic dimensional constraints. When enable this tool, dimensional constraints are automatically be applied. We don't need to specify dimension value in value field. Next tool is diagnostics. This tool is available in visualization toolbar. This tool is used to diagnose the elements. Elements, all relevant constraints are satisfied, element will show in green color. If one particular element is not satisfied, that element will show in white color. If diagnostics tool is disabled, all elements are shown in white color. Next tools are, hide or show the geometrical and dimensional constraints. Next topic is 2D analysis tools. This topic includes sketch solving status and sketch analysis tools. 2D analysis tools are available in tools. ISO constraint status indicates the geometry is fully constrained one. Under constraint status indicates, the geometry is partially constrained. Magenta color, indicates over constrained. Next tool is, Sketch Analysis. Sketch Analysis indicates, the geometry is closed or not. Here, element status are, opened. To close the geometry, use this icon. Now geometry is closed one. If geometry has overdefined elements, sketch analysis indicates isolated element. Select isolated element and select arrays icon. Now geometry status is closed one. In this example, closed and isolated elements are shown.
you can convert isolated element into construction element. Next session will come. Thank you.